Welcome to Dress My Craft. So now we have an interesting card for you um, that is again created by one of our design team members. Um, this is a scenic card which is again made with the help of the transforming sheets. Uh, with this card you will also understand how to use the sheets with the paper and you know how well you can get the results with them. So what I am going to use today is I am going to use a sheet which is called Baby Elephant and the SKU code is here. Okay. So let's understand what all you need for this one. I'll talk about supplies. So what you need is you need a basic die which is called stitch scallop rectangle large die from Dress My Craft. You can also take the SKUs from here. And what you will be needing is basic designer die again from Dress My Craft. It's an oval die. And what we are using is right now is a pretty cream cardstock. We are also using a beige cardstock here. And we are using a blue family cardstock. So these are the things. And not to forget, we are also using a stencil. Um, sorry for the stencil because it's really in a bad condition because we love the stencil and use it a lot. Um, this is called Sunray Stencil and if you want to see the number on the stencil, this is actually DMC11. We have beautiful stencils in A4 size available in Trust My Craft. So let's see what all we have for you and how to make this card. This is some basic arrangements for making this card. We have, you know, pre-done for you guys. But before I move ahead, I would definitely want to tell you how we have done. So what, what we have done is we have taken the biggest size of this die and then we have cut a panel. So we have taken a frame and we have taken the base and we are going to use both, both of them. So I'll tell you what exactly we are going to do. So right now I just need this part. So I'm just keeping it separate. As you can see here, this is what we need. Then what we have done is we have done this page card stock cutting exactly the size of in between and that's what we have done we have done some stenciling on the top of it but i'm going to repeat the stenciling so that you can understand how exactly it's been done and i'm going to talk about the remaining parts as well but let's understand this one by one so what we have done is we have i'm showing it you at the back but here is the final one so what we have done is we have taken this beige cardstock and we have taken this uh, sun ray stencil and we have kept the stencil here you know at an angle which is little bit ahead about an inch ahead from the side from the corner and what we have done is we have used an ink called wild honey ink and we have taken the blender and what we are doing here is we are taking a little bit of ink and then you know using distress ink we are just creating some sun rays because these are very very intricate stencils so you need to be a little careful about them so that you don't break the rays or something uh, if you don't want to use a stencil you can also hand draw these layers but I really like the stenciling effect because this looks very very natural so we are using a wild honey ink with it okay so once you remove this one you can see this is how the impression comes which is very light and here what we have done is impression a little bit little darker so whatever you like after all it's your project so this is the first step which is ready for this card and let me take you through the second step is like you know cutting this three card stocks that's the blue but you must be wondering why this um, waves so yes as we are creating an effect where the elephant is actually skiing on these waves so what we have done is we have taken the darkest color to be there here as the darkest portion of it but to exactly use it what we have done is we have taken an oval die the size number of this die is a third size from this oval die and you know from this oval die we have kept this die at an angle like this and we have cut this die and then we have done it like that so this is how you can create the water effect you don't need a water waves die you can do it with your oval and you can easily create this effect okay and this is all three with the same technique so i think i'm first telling the technique so that you can be ready and also to make things easier you know here we are going to use a wet glue and but on the rest of the two surfaces we are going to use a 3d adhesive tape with this one and as you can see to create the sand effect what we have done is we have taken this one again cut it with the oval a bigger size of the oval and we have done some splatters now here on the splatters earlier i had used black color but here we have used a black and a white and a little beige color as well so again it's your project however you like but this is how we have done now i'll start creating this and tell you something very very important so as you can see this is on a paper and transfer me uses water to be transferred in any surface so how do we do that so what we need to do is we need to take out the protective film from the transforming sheet and we are sticking on this cardstock okay making sure that it's well stuck like this and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stuck all the elements on this sheet making sure they go well and once I have done all of these four elements and I have shifted them on the paper 
the next step is to transfer now you must be wondering how to transfer because if i use the same sponge then you will get so many so much of water and the paper might crumple so what i'm doing is i'm using a water based pen so this is a normal pen which you get in so many brands and that's pre-filled with the water and as you can see this is how the water comes out if you press so what i'm going to do is i'm taking this element and i start using my water pen on the top of it and once i'm doing that i will make sure that it does not get you know um, like in touch with other things and also it should not create a lot of mess okay and i will try to control my hand movements i will make sure that i go very well edge to edge making sure that my paper doesn't crumple and also just to make sure that you know it goes very nicely with the transforming sheet making sure it's all wet once i have done that as you can see the image has become transparent now it's the time when you are going to just touch it and feel it and if you feel it's okay and it's good to go what you're going to do is you're going to just slide it as here as you can see wow this is so amazing this is the way you are going to transfer all the images and once you have transferred the images you are going to fussy cut them now i'm going to do each thing for you and get back to you after doing this now i'm going to fussy cut each element once i transfer all of them and now i'll show you once we have done the fussy cutting how exactly it looks like so we have pre-cut you know all these elements by transferring them on the paper and also you know we have added some foam tape at the back just to give extra dimension thingy work so here is a shell here is a sun here is the elephant and here's a paper so what i'm going to do is right now i'm just going to use a wet glue and i'm going to apply the wet glue at the back and once i apply the wet glue at the back i'm going to directly stick it on my card and as you know this is my first layer so i'll be sticking this first layer directly to the card so there is no three dimensional required thing um, i'm using the glue in a very nominal requirement size because otherwise you know sometimes it starts crumpling because of too much of glue so this is the perfect glue for me so what i've done is i've stuck this here and now for the all the next elements we have used the double tape so what i'm going to do is now i'm going to take a different color which is a little darker color and now i'm going to stick it again i'm going to take it from corner to corner i'm sorry actually i'm looking from the up uh, different angle so i'm having a little difficulty in finding the right spot but finally thank god i could do it now before i go ahead and actually move on to the next one that's the third layer this third layer, i'm not going to stick it like completely i'm going to do like a little half sticking so here when it goes perfect you know here when it goes perfect i'm just gonna leave it here and now i'm just going to make sure that i align my elephant and what i'm going to do is i'm going to see how well it fits here on this surfing thing and once i'm happy with this i'm going to align it and then i'm going to definitely stick it here itself now going ahead with the next element is our sun so now i'm going to pick up the sun and you know just place it with the help of you know aligning the sun rays this is how it goes now the last element is this shell and just to make sure that you know the shell looks a little 3d i'm just going to you know fold it a little bit like this and before i stick this one i have to make sure that i stick this well so again to stick this well i need a wet glue and i'll be sticking it with the wet glue and this is how it will be going so let's apply some wet glue and let's stick the same thing and again i'll be going from corner to corner making sure that i do not use too much of glue and i do not crumple my cards because it's a layered card and if you use too much of glue then you know it becomes very difficult to handle it properly so now i'm going to stick it again from one edge to another edge making sure that it's well stuck yeah it's done now i'm going to use the shell on the corner like this so that it looks a little bit 3d and the last element to go ahead is with the pine tree and for this tree you know we have again kind of folded up a little bit just to give it a little three dimensional effect and here i'm going to stick it like straight but when i come a little bit up I'm gonna just you know lift a bit just to give it a little little nice natural effect so as you can see the base is all ready and the next thing is we need to take our base which we had already pre-prepared so we are going to transfer the entire thing on this base and before I go ahead and do that I think I would like to first stick my border like this and then I'm going to place it uh, please excuse me if you're feeling that I'm going a little faster because I want to give you maximum in this class so that you guys can use these techniques for your classes and you can design the projects and you can make most out of it. So that's the reason I'm avoiding little bit steps like that. But I think this is how this card will be exactly completed. And I hope uh, you will excuse me and you will forgive me 
for not doing everything in front of you you know by not pasting the thing but i hope you could understand the technique in it i hope you like the card